I'm I'm Ching Wang from Tsinghua University. Today I will introduce our work, building high performance tree indexes on disaggregated memory. Uh, RDMA network is a key enabler of memory disaggregation. It provides high bandwidth and low latency network access. RDMA supports one-sided verbs, which include read, write, and atomic. Those one-sided verbs can operate directly on remote memory without involving the CPU of receive receivers. There are two ways to run applications on disaggregated memory. The first is leveraging the operating system's page swapping to use disaggregated memory, so it supports legacy application. The second one is bypassing the operating system and building new applications on disaggregated memory from scratch. In this work, we focus on the second way, which is also called disaggregated native architecture. When building applications such as databases, we need indexes to find data on disaggregated memory. In this work, we explore how to design a high performance tree index on disaggregated memory, which can be concurrently accessed by multiple computer servers. We first re revisit existing RDMA based tree indexes, which can be grouped into three classes several tree index, indexes like sale and farm tree. They rely on RPC to handle write operations. They are ill suited for disaggregated memory due to the near zero computation power of memory servers. Some tree indexes adopt a one sided approach. They leverage RDMA one sided verbs for all index operations. However, they suffer from low read performance. We test FG, a B plus tree index using one sided approach. The table shows the results. On the red intensive workloads, FG throughput is less than 1 million seconds, 1 million operations per second with high tail latency. The third approach is offloading index operations into memory server techniques by leveraging SmartNICs or other new hardware. This, this approach cannot be deployed in a large scale immediately. Our goal in this work is designing a tree index on disaggregated memory that can deliver high performance with commodity RDMA NICs. To this end, we further analyze what makes one-sided approach inefficient and found out three major causes. causes. The first is overmatch drone trips. For example, when modifying a tray, tray node, a client thread needs four drone trips. First, it acquires the exclu exclusive locks of the tree node. Second, it fetches fetches the tree node by RDMA read. Third, it, re it respects the modified tree node by RDMA write. Finally, it releases lock. Overmatch run trips harm performance in two aspects. It leads to high latency of single index write operation. Moreover, it makes long critical paths. So conflicting write operations are more likely to be blocked during the concurrent performance. The second, course is the slow RDMA-based lock. We evaluate the locks used by FG, which use RDMA cast to acquire locks and RDMA fetch and add to release, release locks. As shown in this picture, when contention appears, the system suffers from memory performance collapse in throughput and latency. We attributed in the following three reasons. First, to granting the the correct semantic between conflicting RDMA atomic commands. RDMA NICs adopt an internal lock locking scheme to serialize the conflicting atomic commands. Unfortunately, an, an atomic command has a long critical past, as shown in this picture. At the, at the receiver side, an RDMA cast triggers one PCIe read transaction and one PCIe read transaction. Second, when failing to acquire a lock, the client thread retries, consuming the, lim the limited throughput of, the of RDMA NICs. Red, am red amplification also makes one-sided approach slow. Lots of indexes use lock-free lookup to eliminate read locks. They issue RDMA read to fetch tree nodes without holding any lock and detect inconsistent data due to concurrent writes by checksum or versions as during the left picture is the checksum mechanism. 
each tree node includes a checksum carrying the whole. Oh, sorry, sorry, we lose your voice again. Okay. Each each tree node includes a checksum carrying the whole node area. The checksum is recalculated when modifying the associated node, and it's verified when the reading the node. Can you hear me clearly? Uh, yeah, now it works. Oh, okay, so the other mechanism stores a version number at the end, the start and the end of each tree node. When modifying a tree node, its two versions are incremented. A tree node fetched by RDMA read is consistent only when the two versions are the same. In those two mechanisms, writers must write back the whole tree node even when we modifying a single KV entry, inducing red amplification and consuming network bandwidth. Next, we will introduce our proposed uh, B plus tree on this aggregate memory and report some evaluation results. Sherman is a B plus tree index on this memory. This picture shows its architecture. The tree index is stored in the memory servers and the computer servers run client threads that access Sherman by RDMA. Like a billing tree, we record a sibling pointer for every tree node for efficient uh, concurrency to reduce remote access in the tree traversal. Each computer server maintains an index cache, which caches internal tree nodes. Sherman adopts log-based write operation and log-free read operations to resolve read-write conflicts before modifying a tree node. The client thread must acquire the associated exclusive lock to resolve read write conflicts. The client threads fetch a tree node by RDMA reader without holding any logs and leverage versions in the tree nodes to detect inconsistent data. Sherman combines RDMA hardware features with three RDMA friendly software techniques to reduce wrong trips, accelerate concurrency accesses, and mitigate read amplification. We observe that RDMA provides a stronger ordering property at the hardware level. RDMA writes commands are executed in order at the, at the receivers. Therefore, we introduce a command, com command combination technique to Sherman, which let client threads issue multiple dependent RDMA writes simultaneously. For example, as shown in the, this picture, when modifying a tree node, Sherman combines read read back and uh, lock release, thus saving one round trip. For more cases of combination, please check out our paper. To accelerate concurrency performance, we design a hierarchical on-chip lock. It is based on the observation that, that RDMA NICs can expose on-chip memory to applications. Thus, we separate the lock from the tree structure and store them in the on-chip memory of the memory server sneaks. Those locks in each memory server are structured and as an array, namely global lock table. When locking a tree node, the client thread first hatches the address of the tree node into a position number in the global lock table and then issue an RDMA cast command to it. Such on-chip lock eliminates the PCA transactions at the memory servers, thus enjoying high throughput of RDMA atomic commands. Moreover, Sherman maintains a local log table in each computer server to coordinate the conflicting log requests within the same computer servers. The, lo the local log table is a mirror of the global log table. Before trying to acquire a global, global log on the memory servers, a client thread must acquire the associated uh, local log. This can annoy, avoid unnecessary remote retries and thus save RDMA throughput. We also bind a weight queue to each local lock to boost the fairness. Finally, the hierarchical structure enables a handover mechanism. We releasing a lock if a, if a thread, thread finds out the lock's weight queue is not empty, it will hand the lock over to the one at the queue head. This can reduce one round trip for remote, for remote locking. To mitigate the red amplification, Sherman tailors the B plus tree layout in two aspects. First, Sherman uses unsorted leaf nodes 
so that the shift, shift the operation upon insert or delete can be uh, avoided. Second, Sherman introduced a uh, introduce the entry-level versions to enable fingering the consistent chat as shown in this picture in leaf nodes. Each entry is surrounded by a pair of entry-level entry -level version and a pair of node-level version is stored at the beginning and the end of each leaf node. When updating a QV entry, the associated Entry-level version are incremented and only the modified entry is written back by RDMA write, thus mitigating write amplification. With splitting a leaf node, the client thread increments associated node-level versions and writes back the whole node by RDMA write. For a lookup operation, after reading a leaf node from memory servers, the client thread first compiles the two node-level versions and then compiles the two associated entry level versions. Any mismatch will trigger a retry. Next, we will report the evaluation results. We will use eight, eight machines and emulate each machine as one memory server and one computer server. We compile Sherman with FG and RDMA B plus tree that leverage one sided RDMA for all index operations. For fail comparison, we add a index cache for FG. We use SSB benchmark with A byte keys and A byte values. The key popularity follows a different distribution. To analyze the Sherman's performance, we break down the performance gap between FG and Sherman through applying each technique one by one. As shown in this picture, on the red intensive workloads, Sherman improves throughput by up to 23.6 times, and uh, all techniques contribute to its uh, high rate efficiency. We also evaluate index, indexes on the really intensive workloads. The red figure shows the result. Sherman and FG have the similar throughput. It indicates that Sherman did, doesn't uh, sacrifice real performance. Finally, I share some takeaways. During designing Sherman, we found many techniques in other computer system fields are still effective on distributed memory. For example, many numa aware locks try to reduce remote numa access on lock operation. Sherman uses a similar approach to allow lock handover and story systems always mitigate uh, ordering overhead and reduce red traffic, which can also be achieved on distributed memory by leveraging RDMA unique features or tailoring data structure layout. Thank you for listening. Our speaker. Uh, seems no questions on Slack now. We have with, we can ask uh, maybe one question from the audience. Uh, yeah, thanks for the talk. I, I had a question regarding, do you consider memory reclamation? in the design of your data structure? Sorry, I, I cannot hear clearly. Type in the chart, I can read it out. OK. Uh, do, you, do you consider memory reclamation in B plus tree? Okay, uh, in this work, uh, since uh, since we design a B plus tree index, uh, all its uh, tree nodes is fixed size length, so we use a uh, use a simple approach to perform memory reclamation without uh, any epoch based uh, mechanisms. Uh, in other words, we set a free bit in every tree node, so any log free read fetching the, the freed tree node will find the tree node is uh, freed to, to enable the, their, their retry. Uh, 